transition diagram into a transition table. First of all, the step is we draw a transition table. We represent a transition table in a way like I have drawn. On the horizontal line, we write down the inputs. We can very clearly see that in the given transition diagram, there are only two inputs that is A and B. Input are written on the arc of the transition. The symbols which are written on the arc are the inputs. So there are two inputs A and B. We will write the inputs on the horizontal line over here. And over here on the vertical line, we write the states. States are represented by the circles. There are four states Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 in the given transition diagram. So we write down these four states. Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now out of these four states, this is a convention which is widely used that the state which is pointed by an arrow without any input is an initial state. So over here Q0 is an initial state. We will show that it is an initial state by pointing an arrow to it. And the state which is represented by a double circle is a final state. So we will put a circle over here. It will denote that Q3 is a final state. These two information that what are the states and what are the inputs are easily understandable by looking at any transition diagram. The inputs are denoted on the arcs, the states are denoted on the in the circles. Now this transition diagram specifically tells that for a particular state and a particular input, what will be the next state. So this we have to see from the transition diagram. So for example, we see on Q0. On Q0, when A comes, the next state is Q1. So what we have to do is that on Q0, when A comes, we have to write Q1 over here. So it represents that on Q0, when A is given as input, the next state is Q1. Similarly, on Q0, when B comes, the next state is Q1. Two. So we write Q2 over here. On Q0, when B comes, the next state is Q2. If we see what happens, so we have done for Q0. For Q0, there are only two paths which are going outside of Q0. So we have done for Q0. Now we move to Q1. What happens on Q1 when A comes as an input, it returns back to Q1. So on Q1, when A comes as an input, we write Q1. And on B, it goes to Q3. So on B, we write Q3. Now, after seeing for Q1, we will check for the next state. And the next state is Q2. What we see in Q2, that there is one outside going arc. We will do for every arc which is going outside the state. On Q2, there is arc with a label A, which is going to Q3. So what the information does it tell that on Q2 when A comes as an input, the next state is Q3. So when A comes as an input, the next state is Q3. Similarly, when B comes as an input, the next state is Q2 itself. It remains on the same state. On receiving this input, it remains on the same state. So we will write Q2 over here. Now we see for the last state that is Q3. For Q3, what is written? There is only one arc which is going out, but it is having two inputs, A and B. It means that it behaves in the similar way for both the inputs. On Q3, when A comes, the next state is Q3 itself. Similarly, when B comes, the next state is Q3 itself. So like this, we have converted this transition diagram into a transition table. Repeating it, there are four states, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. These four states are written on the vertical line. 
Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. There are two inputs, A and B. They are written on the horizontal line, A and B. This pair, this pair represent that for this as an starting state, for this as an state which we are considering, when this state receives this input, what will be the next state? So next state is represented within the table. So this is a state and input pair, which tells that this is a next state. So this is a representation of a transition function itself. A transition function takes a state and an input and it tells what is the next state. So we are representing the transition function for the entire automata, which is given to us in the form of a diagram. So this is just a conversion of a diagram into a table. And why are we studying this conversion? This conversion is very important in solving the numericals, which we'll be learning ahead. Therefore, we are going through that. What is this conversion basically? Okay.